everyone and welcome to today's reading. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are returning. My name is Lindy, this is Much Love Tarot. Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be looking into the connection that you're in. I'm not really sure how I'm going to call this reading yet. At first I was like, is this a comp compatibility? Compatibility? Com compatibility reading? Um, I also want to take a look at the future. So what we are going to do, first up, we are going to take a look at your energy, their energy, the connecting energy between the two of you, as well as the future of this connection. So this can be uh, if you are already in a love relationship with your partner, or if there's like long distance, or if this is just like, are we compatible? Or what does the future look like? Will we get into a relationship? All that. Um, if you're looking for answers like those, then this is going to be the reading um, today. As always, let me get over the announcements first real quick. You can still book private readings with me. You'll find my email address in the description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. There's also a link tree link in the description box. If you go over there, you'll find everything from my TikTok, my Instagram. For anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation, different ways to do that as well, uh, where you can donate decks and all that. Or you can just click on the super thanks button here on YouTube. Let's get started with the pick a card section of this reading. I wanted, to, there is a back um, dialogue behind each card, but I would like you to make your choice um, on the artwork. So pile number one, you are going to be this card right here. These cards are a little bit explicit, so I had to Put some stickers on here, but this is going to be pile number one. This woman would like, a, it looks like a reflection of a man. It's not her own reflection here. Okay, pile number two. You are going to be this card right here. And group number three, you are going to be this card right here as well. It's not what it seems, guys. It's not <laughs> like he has wings. It kind of looks like uh, Reiki, Reiki, Reiki healing. Okay, so if you need some more time to figure out which pile belongs to you, then you can pause the video here. And otherwise, I will talk to you guys in your reading. Hi, pal number one. So if you chose this card right here, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to take a look at the connection. Um, again, your energy in this, their energy, connecting energy, as well as the future of this connection. What does that look like? Uh, this reading is good for everyone that is in a relationship, um, has just like a connection, not in a relationship just yet. All of that, take it how it resonates. Again, it is a general reading, so not all messages might resonate for you. Don't try to uh, fit in what doesn't belong to you. It might be a message for someone else in the community. But let's take a look. Pile number one. The card that you ha guys had for your connection is this one. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So that might indicate uh, more so, I feel like that for the guys that are not in a relationship with this person. Um, it can be some sort of a uh, imbalance where one of the two is more into it than the other person. Uh, but let's just take a look. So first off, we are going to take a look at your energy towards this connection. What is your energy towards this connection? Then we're going to take a look at their energy in this connection. Keep in mind, energy is fluid, so it can also be reversed. Take it how it resonates. I am going to read it like your energy, their energy. If it's the other way around, take it the other way around. But let's take a look. So your energy towards this connection, pile number one. I want the one oracle card. That is compassion for your energy. Okay, and the tarot on this. What is your energy towards this connection? I wanted two cards. We have three. So let's see. We have the two of cups. The four of cups. And the King of Swords. So 
Does that fit? That kind of fits. Okay. So I definitely feel that there is a lot of emotion here. Uh, even a belief system that this might be a soul connection. There is, however, a logical side of it where... I feel like there's like a belief system of like, okay, this is a soul connection. Um, sending a lot of love to this person. Compassionate, but also taking a logical side to this. I'll like, we'll see in a minute what that's about. Okay, I kind of like just want to jump to their energy as well. Just so we have a little bit of an idea here. So, pile number one. What is their energy towards this connection? We have animals. Okay, and what is the tarot on this? So what is their energy towards this connection? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. I feel like for them it's more a learning a learning connection balance learning and adventure definitely guided I feel like with that animals card here where I feel like with your energy I'm feeling more understanding the connection we'll see with the connecting energy because I'm kind of feeling there might be a soul connection um, divine guided, um, divine counterpart situation, but I feel like you're more feeling it on an emotional level, um, and they're just, like, more, I don't want to say superficial, well, okay, let's, like, straight up, jump in, what is the connecting energy here? manifestation so you guys have been manifesting each other what's the connecting energy between these two what's the connecting energy we have the world the king of pentacles and the page of swords at the bottom the chariot and the star underneath that. And the sun underneath that. Okay. So I definitely feel that this is, again, a connection where spirit had a hand in bringing this together. Definitely some lessons that need to be learned. Um, cycles that needed to end. For your person, again, I feel like it's more like a lesson that needed to be learned or uh, like for both of you, for cycles to come to an end. But I feel like they are more where it's like, okay, let's move on, like nothing too uh, deep necessarily. Where with you, I feel like it's deeper. With your energy, I'm even feeling more where it's like, okay, how can I make this happen? What can I do? What can I, how can I make this work? Where that desire and effort I don't see returned in your person. Again, like your card said, I feel like one of the two is more, you know, holding on. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. And I feel like that might be, might be a little bit of what's going on here. There is that desire and that longing here. But I feel like it's not necessarily... Well, yeah, I kind of feel like it's one-sided. Where your energy is more in that. Where it's like, I like, oh, holding on to emotions. But I'm feeling like this. Like, I'm not crazy. I'm feeling this connection um we manifest each other like we came together for a reason and i feel like that's true however um that doesn't mean that it's like a long term supposed to be long term i think your person is more of like okay i've learned this lesson thank you for this lesson i've learned 
uh, with that two of pentacles now more balanced uh, but with that page of wands let's get like a new adventure excitement okay what's like not necessarily right now ready for long-term commitment i feel like for them especially with that animals as well this was just like a sign or just a lesson to mature for the cycle to come to an end why is that king of pentacles here why is that king of pentacles here They have the Five Cups and the Magician flipped out, I saw as well. Five of Cups. Griefing, loss. Okay, I still feel that this might have potential like long, further along the line with this connection. Not that it's like, oh, come together, learn a lesson and, you know, grow apart. I feel like it has potential, but I, I do kind of feel like not right now. Okay, let me clear this out and then we will take a look at the um, future of this connection. So if this part did not resonate for you, then this is probably not your reading. Feel free to pick a different pile uh, or even a different um, video from my channel. Or if you decided, well, Lindy is not my tarot reader, that's totally fine too. There are plenty of beautiful souls out there that do amazing readings for you like these. Okay, where do I want to start with? Let me get some tarot first. So we want to take a look at the future for this connection, the pile number one. What is the future for this connection? The future for this connection. The bottom we have the lovers okay so that's a good start the lovers is that connection that is like you're not crazy that connection is very much there okay uh we have the devil we have the nine of swords the page of pentacles the five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune where do i put everything let's put it in the middle future of this connection so the connection that is between the two of you there like you're not crazy there is indeed a, a, a soul connection um i'm saying soul connection keep in mind i'm not necessarily saying soul mate or twin flame or anything like that um because i feel like it's very different for all of you but this is definitely a person that has been brought to your attention for certain reasons Again, I feel like right now is not the timing for this to blossom. With that Wheel of Fortune as well. If it's meant to be, it will be. Because the Wheel of Fortune is also like there's nothing you can do to make this happen quicker or sooner or force things to happen. When the timing is right, it will happen. Um, so don't worry too much about being perfect or reacting to them or making mistakes because um, there's no such thing as saying the wrong thing to the right person. Let me say that again. There's not a thing of saying the wrong thing to the right person. That's not a thing. With that devil as well, it kind of feels, I don't want to say, okay, so the word that comes to mind, uh, take it with a pinch of salt, but the word I'm, I, that's coming to my mind is a bit greedy. This is mine. This is my soul connection. This is mine. Only for me. Um, and getting very worried. I feel like the more you hold on, the more you lo will lose it. If it's meant to be, it will be. And I feel like there will be an opportunity later on. Right now, um, I feel we need to get to the purpose of this first introduction first. Because that is, I feel like, the thing that's not been learned yet. Again, one of the two energies, I feel like they're like, okay, there's the lesson. Thank you for the lesson. Let's move forward. And the other one is very much still holding on. And I think the other one needs to learn this lesson 
before we can continue the class. Okay, um, let me get some... Oh, what do I want? What do we want? Let's get some of these oracles for you guys. Some advice and guidance for the future of this connection. What is that? Your dreams need a practical plan with the full moon in Taurus. So again, there is a lot of holding on to the emotion, to the feeling, to... Uh, but we have a soul connection uh, to the spiritual, where I feel like spirit's like, let's take a look at the, the practical side of things. Because for some of you, there might be literally like uh, practical things that are standing in between the two of you, whether that's like distance for some of you. Um a forbidden fruit type of thing you and your loved ones are safe the, f the new moon in cancer and we also have the new moon in leo confidence is your key to success so yeah again if it's meant to be it will be again i do feel that there is a possibility later on um but right now we need to take a look at reality and that confidence is your key to success as well. With that five of pentacles, I feel like there's a feeling of like, if I let go of this connection of this person, I might never see them. Where it's like, have confidence. This is not the only chance you'll get. Okay, let me take a look. The future of this connection. What will it look like? The future of this connection. If we can get over this moment like if we take this advice right what is like the next step for this connection the future we have guilt and sabotage regret and repression an offer with venus celebration gifts and abundance and winter with re rebirth again i feel a rebirth i feel a second chance an offer, celebration, abundance. <laughs> Even me saying this, like this advice, I feel like you're not there yet, or like them, but kind of depends who who's I'm I'm reading your um, I'm reading it as your energy. Um, like the longer we hold on to the connection as it is right now. I feel like you'll regret it in the future where it's like, oh, if only I like made those progress like sooner. Feeling guilty, self-sabotage. Honestly, power one, I kind of want to leave it here for you guys. Because we kind of got it where... I feel like this connection came together with the purpose of learning lessons from each other as well as like parting ways after that. Then for the lessons to be bought, brought into practice uh, and for later along the line, this connection to possibly get back together again. But we're so holding on to like I kind of want to say the connection of right now but to be honest I feel like that's it's a little bit I think delusion is is a, 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 a like an exaggeration but I don't really know a different word for it because the connection that the person holding on is having in their mind is not reality It is a possibility for later on, but not for right now. Again, I'll end this reading for you guys with reading this card, because I feel like that kind of like summed it up. Emotion, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. 
clouding your vision, your emotions, your feelings, the connection that you're feeling. Yes, it's real. This is such a, I can only imagine how frustrating this must be. So yeah, but honestly, I kind of want to leave it here for you guys. Um, I still hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. Uh, if it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it or this type of reading. So I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments and I would love to take a look. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Like honestly, like, like the main thing here is you're not crazy. The connection is very much there, right? Um, but yeah. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number two. So if you chose this card, then this is going to be your reading today. I think I'm going to call this uh, a reading the future of this connection. Maybe. Uh, at first I was like, is this a comp compatibility? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we are going to take a look at this connection uh your energy towards them their energy towards you the connecting energy as well as the future of this connection uh if you chose this card right here and this is gonna be your reading let's take a look at the back side and i feel like you there will be some okay uh we have soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so already very, very connected. For some of you, this can be a soulmate, a twin flame, karmic partner, um, divine uh, opposite, divine masculine, divine feminine. Let's take a look, shall we? Pile number two. What is your energy towards this person? Your energy towards this person. Pile number two. We have lighten your load. So I feel like this is a person that you have been manifesting, like I said, with that soulmate card to maybe help you carry, not having to be alone anymore, not having to deal with it anymore. But let's take a look at the tarot here for you guys, your energy towards this person. We have the death card as well as the star. So major arcanas. At the bottom we have the ten of wands. <laughs> Which is that lighten your load. That ten of wands. Um, hope. Transformative energy. This is the person. For some of you there's a feeling of being able to breathe again. Um, again, I feel like loneliness might be a big thing here. Uh, for those of you that are not in a romantic partnership with that, uh, with this person, for some of you, I'm even feeling that this is you just asking about your soulmate, but not knowing them yet. For others of you, this can talk about uh, a soulmate that is an ex-partner or the one that got away or the one that like missed chances, regrets, um, second chances. Very transformative energy. A feeling of... For those of you that are in your relationship with your soulmate, um, a feeling of, uh, again, transformation. Helping you through hard times. Not being on your own. being Feeling support. Okay, um, let's quickly move on with what is their energy towards you. Well, number two, what is their energy towards you? I kind of want to take this one. Look at that. Family. So seeing you as like family, building a family. Um, that happiness there. We have justice as well as judgment. Also major arcana. And at the bottom for this, the lovers. Okay. So they're definitely seeing you as their soulmate as well. Um, judgment and justice, even, again, family, marriage. Um, all their hard work is paying off with, like, you. 
uh, all the changes that they made, the hardship that they've been through, and there you are, finally, again, breathing as well. I feel like they might be a bit more further along the, 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 the path. Uh, I think you are going through similar things that they have been through and overcame. Um, love this. Very strong, very supportive. Just like coming together. Again, soulmates. It's like breathing here. Okay, what is the connecting energy? The connecting energy. We have career. Okay, so for some of you, um, meeting this person at the job, working on career. Um, maybe the first bonding was about work or career possibilities. Maybe you guys work together. It's the connecting energy. We have the magician, the ace of swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. The connecting energy. So, yeah, I'm feeling like a learning thing. This person learning from that person, but also the other way around. But it might feel like you learn from each other. But at first glance, it might seem that this person needed more help from this person. I think, again magician you guys manifest each other like the soulmate card says we get it uh your soul soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically and i feel like that's exactly what happened here manifesting each other we needed each other and so um here we are that ace of swords have a good conversation uh straight up like honest conversations towards each other learning from each other uh building each other up i definitely feel this is a soulmate connection it's making each other stronger i kind of want to leave uh, this part here if this did not resonate for you then this is not your reading uh, i will be continuing with what is the future for this connection what does the future of this connection look like uh, again if this did not resonate for you then this is probably not your reading uh, feel free to pick a different pile or a different video from my channel if after this you decide you know what lindy is not my tarot reader uh, there are plenty of beautiful beautiful um, tarot readers here on youtube that might be a better fit for you but let's take a look let me get a different deck what is the future of this connection? The future of this soulmate connection. At the bottom we have the seven of the seven of swords. Okay, and the seven of cups. Okay, we have the king of wands. Is this an ex-partner? Did you guys break up? <gasps> okay, uh, the King of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So, I am seeing a bit um, defensiveness. There is some hurt, maybe some truth that hasn't been talked about. So what I'm seeing is open communication about our hurt, our pain, our feelings, what happened. And then after that, I do see the possibilities with that Ten of Pentacles for a long-term committed relationship, being actual happy together. However, there's also a little bit of defensiveness, still in fight mode uh, and having a hard time snapping out of that. Open communication is going to be key to moving forward with this. With that King of Wands, I don't know, for some of you, there might be also a, a factor of distance playing a part here. Um, or one of the two taking charge and control and making decisions that's best for everyone without proper communication. I feel like communication is going to be key here. Um, okay, let me get some advice and guidance for you on this. How am I to some advice and guidance? We have adjustments are required. 
adjustments are required. Like I said, with that defensiveness, something needs to change because otherwise you are going to stay in that circle in, or in that cycle. Sorry. Um, we have the new moon in Scorpio with work through your fears. Work through your fears. And that might be about open communication, right? Fearful of speaking the truth fearful of sharing your hurt and pain because you don't want to hurt the other person you don't want them to think differently about you work through this because again something needs to change and i feel like it has to do with open communication and we also have the new moon in capricorn with your hard work is paying off so it will have again if you're fearful of like, but I don't want to lose this relationship if I'm honest or I don't, you know, I don't know the future and let's at least now we're still together or whatever that is, right? If there is a fear surrounding the future of this connection, your hard work is going to be paying off in the long run. Again, I do see with that Ten of Pentacles, a long-term committed relationship, happiness, fulfillment. But right now I feel like there's something hidden, not talked about. That needs to be addressed. Okay, um, let me take a look at what is the future going to look like, like after this adjustment. After this adjustment. Oh, jeez. Okay, one went to the ground to the other side of the camera. Oh, where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, squeaky chair. Okay, we have uh, memories and nostalgia. So after this, again, being able to look at the happy moments um, and building on that. We have Pluto with transformation. Love that. Messages and dreams limitations and fears and self-worth and expectations at the bottom of the deck we have freedom and leap opportunities so taking a leap of faith uh, when opportunities arise it's a transformation uh, things that you definitely just because there is a soul made connection again it kind of feels effortless does not mean that there are no no issues right no problems again to make it even better to have that transformation communication is going to be key here uh, with that messages as well something needs to be talked about there might still be fears and limitations here Again, like we talked about, it's a working process. It's not something that you can just like accept and then like, okay, I accept it. Let's move on. It's it's a working process. Um, but the transformation is here. So I'm like, where it's like, yes. Um, maybe even expressing for some of you, expressing your expectations of this person, of this connection, but never really express that. I'm very, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm very hopeful for this connection. I'm just like thinking, what more can I say about this? But I think we pretty much got everything. I think I'm just going to repeat everything that I've said already or just, yeah. So I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Um, A very quick, very... <laughs> quick look into this connection whether you are in a in a relationship with this person or not i feel like this is a soulmate connection that does has the potential for a long-term committed relationship be open and honest about your expectations about how you're feeling about the hurt and the pain um and over overcome them step over that hurt and that pain if you really want to you know have that long-term committed relationship because i do see it here open communication is going to be key it will require some adjustments but again the hard work that you put in will be paying off 
again, we always have a choice. If you're like, I can, I don't have the energy anymore. That's a choice that you can make. Um, I'm just saying what I'm seeing for the future uh, possibilities here. So I am going to leave it here for you guys, pile number two. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions for future readings, definitely, definitely let me know and I'll take a look at it. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number three. So if you chose this card right here, hopefully uh, YouTube won't like be offended by this. But if you chose this card, this is going to be your reading today. So the future of this connection, what does it look like? What is the energy for from you towards them, them towards you, as well as the connecting energy between the two of you? Uh, let's very quickly turn around this card and see the card that you have. You guys have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So for some of you, this is a connection that might need a little bit of healing or it's the reason of this connection is to heal. Let's take a look at your energy towards them first. Again, energy is fluid, so it might be the other way around that... Um, you are the other part but i'm gonna read it as your energy towards them their energy towards you let's take a look what is your energy towards this connection pile number three for the healing what is your energy towards this connection reconciliation coming together to becoming one what is the tarot on this? Your thoughts and feelings. What's this connection? We have the three of ones as well as the five of swords. So a lot of worrying about this. Okay, we have judgment at the bottom. Five of Swords, yes, is self-sabotage, but this one particularly is also about winning at all cost. Doesn't matter who you have to hurt or what you have to do in order to get that reconciliation. That coming together. Okay, let's quickly take a look at what is their energy towards you. Their energy towards pile number three. Okay, so two cards came out. Um, we had closure and the other one was peace closure and peace and the or the tarot with this what is their energy towards you Tell me the three what is their energy towards you we have the ten of ones seven of pentacles as well as the knight of pentacles so they are a bit more um how do you say that like cautious with this connection where on this end we have what do i need to do um like how can we make this happen the desire for reconciliation for coming together for this connection to work out with them they are more like i need a breather I need, they need that healing with that Knight of Pentacles, wanting to take it very, very slow with that Ten of Wands, very, very tired energy. Is it like questioning, is it worth it? Do we really want to continue with that Seven of Pentacles as well? That's also a question of, okay, do we put more into fixing this? Without knowing if it will have good results or am I just going to start over? give up half closure start over okay what is the connecting energy here what is the connecting energy for pile number three again two we have career and beauty career and beauty what is the connecting energy here what's the connecting energy here
We have the Tower, the Hermit, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So this is a connection that very much came out of the blue, very, very suddenly. We have the Two of Wands as well, so a choice and justice, so contract might be. Uh, for some of you, I'm seeing that this might be a connection where one of the two was either married or in a different relationship. I definitely feel a soul connection here. Or like, I'm saying soul connection does not mean necessarily a soulmate or twin flame or, you know, anything like that. It can also be a lesson that's learned with that hermit energy. Definitely a very sudden connection. For some of you, it can also indicate that this person wants to, again, if they were married or in a relationship when they met you, this hit, they feel like they need to have that kind of closure uh, first. Before getting into this connection. Uh, you guys might have met on the job, on work, and felt that connection instantly. Um... Definitely a lot of like helping each other out, be the best version of them, of, of yourselves. Again, I, one of the two, I feel like with your energy is more of like, okay, let's connect. Let's make this work. I don't care who or what is standing in the way. How can we make this work? How can we expand? How can we, you know... And the other person is still a bit more hesitant. With that healing as well, imagine yourself and your, your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very, very moment. Healing is what this person really, really needs. Um, and I feel like you as well, but with you, there's more of like, okay, like, okay, I can't, let's, let's, like, active, right? Instead of, like, healing, let's go to war. Let's make this happen. Let's go. What are we waiting for? Uh, where I feel like there's a need for a little bit of peace or balance, at least for this person. Um, a little bit. Because I feel like the connection really hit. And for one of the two, it was easier to deal with than for the other person. So they need a little bit of healing, need a little bit of grace here. Okay, um, so let's move on with the next que question, which is what is the future of this connection? If this did not resonate for you at all, then this is not going to be your reading. Feel free to pick a different pile or even a different video from my channel. If after this you decide, you know what, Lindy is not my tarot reader, that's totally fine too. There are plenty of beautiful, beautiful souls here on YouTube doing uh, readings and it might be a better fit for you. But let's take a look. Pile number three, the future of this connection. What does the future look like for this connection? Pile number three, the future of this connection. We have the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, the Emperor, the Hermit, and the Seven of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Star. Love that. Okay, and then the Two of Cups, obviously. So I do see a connection or, or uh, a relationship happening here with that Star having high hope. I do feel taking it a bit slower. A slower pace because uh, again we had that imbalance where one of the two was more let's do this and not really taking in consideration the, like where the other person is at again needing some time to heal and whatnot pushing it is not going to help you it's not gonna get you where you want to be with that six of swords that is leaving in the past what's no longer serving moving on and taking the other person's pace with that hair fin, 
Herofin, as well as the Emperor, um, taking the right steps necessary, making sure the foundation is good, that we don't rush into this, um, and the Emperor that is making decisions that's the best for everyone. Again, taking a bit of a slower pace is kind of what I'm feeling here with that Hermit energy. <sighs> I feel like we need peace. <laughs> we need peace in this connection. Seven of Swords can talk about trust issues, can talk about um, jealousy, uh, about cheating even. Uh, that might be a little bit of a dark cloud here. So don't feel def the, like the defensive when the other per person wants to take it slow or don't want to rush in or are not at that fast pace that you might be in. That does not mean that they're cheating. That does not mean that they're untrustworthy, that they're not being fair or they're not honest or, you know, anything like that. Giving them a bit of grace. Some time to heal. Again, we have the star as the overall energy. The star is beautiful energy of high hope, of manifestation, of putting your intention into the world and getting that returned tenfold. Um, as well as the Two of Cups, which is that connection, and the Three of Cups, which is focusing maybe a bit more, again, on the foundation of friendship, of the connection, before rushing into anything. Uh, okay, let me get some advice and guidance for you guys on this. Some advice and guidance for pile number three. We have the new moon in Sagittarius with luck is on your side. We have a, t look at that, a time for healing. As well as the full moon in Taurus with your dreams need a practical plan. How are we going to do this? Okay, you need some time to heal? Okay, let me know. Like, uh, does not mean that you should just go like, okay, then let me know when you're ready. I'll just be here waiting. No, like come up with a plan. Okay, how can we make this happen? What can I do to make you feel comfortable as well as uh, this is what I would like from you then to feel more comfortable myself in this connection as well, where we're both okay with the situation. Luck is on your side again with that star energy, talking about luck, talking about hope. So I do feel high hope for this connection of you guys working this through. We need some healing. We need a little bit of time, uh, which is again totally fine. Come up with a plan of how can we create this? How can we make this happen? Love is a verb. It requires dedication. It requires choosing. It requires a lot of hard work. It's not just emotions. Because emotions change, right? Okay. Uh, if you follow this advice, then what is the future? What is next after that advice? Forming structure, solid foundations. Again, focusing on those foundations of friendship, of actually liking each other, not just loving and infatuation and attraction, but actually liking each other as like people, having that foundation to build on. Um, or like after working on this, there is going to be that foundation to build on. We have the Ace of Fire with Leo Aries Sagittarius. So, uh, yeah. I feel like after working on this, the connection between the two of you or the attraction between the two of you will only increase because there's more respect. There's more, again, love for each other on like a deeper level than just infatuation. We have the shadow side, moon and a dark night. Okay, so there are still a lot of things that I feel like Spirit just wants you to experience. We have cycles, change and completion. We have ego, vanity and pride, avoidance, stillmate, facade and beliefs. At the bottom of the deck, we have winter and rebirth, integration, union, renewal, spark. Okay. Um, so yeah, this might be a little bit of a tough or rough start where you didn't envision 
a start like this to happen, but here we are. Pushing through this, pushing through the insecurities, taking the time for both of you to heal these parts. Build that foundation for yourself as well as for you guys together in this connection. We have a beautiful um, um, rebirth, union, integration, working on ending cycles. What happened in the past, not letting the past hold you back anymore. Moving past maybe ego, vanity, pride. This facade or mask that we wear. Um, as well as moving out of, for some of you, out of a stalemate stance. For some of you, this is a new connection. For others of you, this might be a connection that like you have been in a relationship for a long time. Where right now, like we just need a little bit of a break or some time apart or some healing from each other in order to move forward. It might seem a little bit like a stalemate, like no movement is happening, avoiding the whole situation, but needing some time apart um, in order to heal and come together and work on the foundation again. Having that rebirth, renewal of that spark, again with the Ace of Fire as well, a new level of attraction, passion between the two of you. Uh, so I am having a lot of high hope for this connection. Healing is going to be a big, big part. It's a big part of any connection, any relationship. But here I feel like we're at the point where it's like right now, it's critical that we focus on our healing individually as well as together as a couple and after that i feel like there is going to be a new just like <laughs> you know a new spark just like igniting so yeah i kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys to be honest i hope it was helpful i hope it resonated if it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below and I'd love to take a look at it. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. You absolutely got this. Go kick ass and hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading.